Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first, I want to start off by saying rest in peace to this young man, Barry Washington Jr., who died at such a young age, at the age of 22. And I want to give my deepest, deepest condolences to his mom, Lawanda Robinson, and his family. My heart really goes out to, to any mother that has to, to bury her child, especially under circumstances like this, so just, just heartless. Uh, my deepest condolences to you, mom. This video is so disturbing to me, guys, on so many levels. Like, just the simple fact, when you guys watch the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just mind-boggling. The most disturbing part of the video to me is the laughing. The laughing in the video and then going about their whole evening as if there's not, like, you know, a dead body like laying there on the ground. You hear the music playing, people laughing. I, I, I think you hear, I think there's one person you hear in the distance say somebody should call the police, but the music continued, the laughing continued. I mean, you just think they was, you know, like nothing ever happened. Um, I, I just don't even know where to start. But this dude here, his name is Ian Cranston. He's 27. He shot this kid. Some are saying because he complimented his girlfriend. Some are saying, uh, some articles are saying that he asked her out. I don't know. You know how things like that go. There's going to be a whole bunch of different stories with things like this. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. What what matters is that this young man lost his life behind something so stupid. And they arrested him. And uh, Ian was arrested and they only gave, first they wasn't even going to arrest him because they didn't even know what they was going to charge him with. So he wasn't immediately arrested like the way the, you know, some of them articles are trying to push it. But when he was arrested, they posted you know, they finally, when they finally arrested him and charged him with second degree manslaughter, his bail was only $10,000. So he was out like in the same night, like this happened 1 a.m. in the morning. Once they figured out what they was going to charge him with or whatever, let's just put it like this. He was still home in less than 24 hours. So it, that's like a slap in the family's face. So the family and friends been, you know, they've been out there demanding answers. I'm going to read to you guys a little bit of an article um, where his mom and some of his family had spoke out at his visual. And they had, this was written on um, September 26th by the KTVZ news source where his mom um, said, I am very shocked and I am in disbelief. I always hear about these stories, said Lawanda Robinson, Washington's mother. Robinson's pain was still raw during the visual, but she told NBC Bay Area that she is determined to give her son a voice. I really want to speak for my son, because I know there has been a lot of misleading stories out there, she said. Authorities in Oregon said Washington and 27-year-old Ian Cranston got into a fist fight early last Sunday outside a bar. Officials added that Cranston then pulled a handgun and shot Washington one time, killing him. Washington, Washington's family believes it's, a poss it's possibly a premeditated hate crime. Basically, he told, 
Basically, he told him that they can do to him whatever they want to do and kept calling him the N-word, said Valencia, Washington's aunt. So, you know, this article, you know, it go they uh, at the visual, they was able to speak with, you know, the mom and some family, you know, other family members. And then it goes on, you know, to let you know, giving you more updates that he goes to court on October 5th, Tuesday. So, you know, guys, I'm going to definitely be bringing you back an update on this. But I will put the link in my description box and you guys can go over and read the full article of what the mom and the family and friends had to say um, at the visual. As well as the charges uh, when he first was charged. I'll also put the link in my description box to that. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch this video. Um, remember, guys, this video is disturbing to a lot of people. So please listen and watch under your own discretion. Um, this is just, it, it's just even hard to even phantom something like this. Like it's, but I'm going to uh, put the video, I'm going to let you guys watch the video and I'll come back. Say hello. Say hello. Yeah, yeah. Get the f away from me. Get the f So you can see and understand why this was so upsetting and disturbing to many people. So there were people that was kind, you know, going on different on their different um, uh, platforms, you know, to kind of put this message out there to show, you know, what's what's going on to help this family get some justice because not many um, networks and outlets was talking about it. So go ahead guys and watch this and then I'll come back. All right, TikTok, I need you to stop. I need you to blow this video up for me. This man here is Ian Cranston. This woman here is Allie Butler. They live in Central Oregon and currently they are hiding. I believe they live in Redmond, Oregon. Um, on September 19th, Ian Cranston shot and killed a black man in my community at a bar for supposedly complimenting his white partner. If that rings to you of Emmett Till, that's because it's happening again here in 2021. The man that he shot and murdered, his name was Barry Washington. He was an innocent black man that was just downtown drinking with his friends. There's a video that was released to the news by the killer's partner, Allie Butler here. She filmed a video after he was shot and murdered of her laughing at his body they had called him racial slurs. Everybody stood around, turned the music back up, and they were just laughing, having a good old time. Only one person in the video said somebody should call the police. Nobody moved. Nobody ran. There was no screaming for help. Nothing. They shot and killed a black man in public, like a public lynching, for supposedly complimenting his white partner. And he was let out on bail with a manslaughter charge. She was not arrested at all. Again, his name is Ian Cranston. This is Allie Butler. And they murdered Barry Washington Jr. in public. And they were let go because they are white. 
if you care about black lives, if you care about getting justice for black lives, I need you to share the hell out of this video and look up this case. It's taking place in Central Oregon. His name was Barry Washington. He was murdered by Ian Cranston and Allie Butler, who are both. She's right, guys. We should help this family get this story out there, you know, get this story out more and, uh, you know, help this family to ensure that they get the proper justice and not let something like this be swept under the rug. Um, the mom also has a GoFundMe. I'm going to put the link to uh, the GoFundMe in my description box in case, you know, some you guys want to go over and maybe donate, send a donation to the family in this trying time and help them. Um, with that being said, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Hit that notification bell so you'll be sure to see when I drop new videos. And share this video, guys, so that this family, we can help this family get um, pro the proper justice that they deserve. And follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram and join my Facebook page. Again, guys, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And hit that like button.